Yeah. Enough said. Case closed. Yeah. Yarp. Although, you know, we still got another map to go here, and it potentially could be one that both paramedics have learned, so... I <laughs> foresee a difference in score! Well, let's hope so. <laughs> well, we'll see. Yeah, okay, well, finally, we're, we're in the last minute and a half here. 118 to 42. And just as expected, Sparks is just friggin' dominating. Gills is, is doing some damage as well, but, you know, this map belongs to Sparks. Yeah, it really does. It, it's almost creepy. It, it's almost just, like, diabolically creepy how, much, how good Sparks is on, on this map. Compared to, to his other maps, too, I mean, there are maps that he's, quite frankly, just plain damn weak on, but when it comes to T7... You know, I, I think part of his logic must be, you know, I, I gotta get really, really good at a map. What map is he weak on? Well... Well? I, I need to go look at the roster here. Well, but, what? But, uh, Lost <laughs> Cause... Well, I, I, need to look at, uh, I, I need to look at the standings because Lost Cause 2 owed him in the ESFL. Yeah, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're weak on a map. That means that you played Lost Cause on the map. You know what I'm saying? Good, good point, good point. You know? Now, now I would say right. that, you know, I, I'd be curious to know if those things were blowouts or if they were clubs. They, uh, as I recall, they were fairly close. I will give you that, yes. Okay. Listen, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying. I mean, you know, credit where it's due. Sparks is an okay. accomplished player. Alright, this 20-minute rape fest is over. <laughs> and we're going to be seeing map 3. DM6 going to paramedics. T7 going, of course, to area 51. So the big question mm -hmm. is... What's map three? An overall accuracy of 41% for Sparks at the end of that, and his shotgun, of course, which he used so Good effectively gravy. on the squad run. T1? Yeah, so for those on the stream that are wondering, yeah, I used a FOV of 110. I hadn't checked it in forever, but I figured I would look real quick. So, QQ Lice? I don't know. Who the fuck is <laughs> Coffee Beans? You're a lying son of a bitch. You do not use an AD FOV. <laughs> no way. Lies. CA2 is tossed. At least DM7 and ZTN. And so now Area 51 gets to toss. I'm imagining they're going to toss DM7. So we head over to ZTN. This is uh, Kane's pick from Ooh. earlier. So this will be interesting. Let's see what kind of predictions we get out of this. I think Area 51 will uh, lay the smack down, quite frankly. I, I think Sparks has warmed up and... I don't think we're going to see the mistakes that we saw in DM6. Yeah, that's, th this is going to be a map where it's going to be, you know, a lot more control is going to center around the quad damage, and unlike DM6, you can't just waltz in from a different angle and kind of drop in and get a, a short-lived steal. Really, you either have it or you don't. And that's going to be something I think is going to be in Paramedic's disfavor in this case. We have F3s from Sparks and Mesta, and Gills and Wonka. We're looking for it, but this is map three. And <laughs> I think everybody's rooting for Area 51 at this point. But really, I think this is going to be much closer, much less of a blowout than we saw on T7. So, again, if, if we can see a, a closer game, a more tight game, I'd definitely be getting my jollies. Yeah, I, I do think that it'll be far closer. On the other hand, I think that maybe uh, we have seen paramedics several times. Um, over the course of our Break Live TV TV-ness. And one thing I will say about them is that they tend to kind of get like the results of the previous map kind of carry over. So if they win, it's kind of favor favorable for them. If they lose, it kind of sticks in their head and affects their gameplay. So I'm wondering So are you if saying if it went T7 then DM6, things would have been different? Yeah, I, actually, I think so. Yeah. I, I think we, we probably would have so seen just carries. two maps. We probably would have just seen two maps tonight. 
Becky's saying, I, I won't be happy unless there were four telefrags. Me too, buddy. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Simultaneously. I live for a tele... Yeah, actually, wouldn't that be cool? Is it even possible to get, like, uh... Yeah, you could definitely get... Yeah, you really... You could well, probably not, get a not double. In this map. Maybe? I don't know how the game code would for handle science. three people trying to stand in one spot. <laughs> you have to like divide them evenly. Two. It, it would probably telefrag Fight. two and push one of them over just to be nice. Uh, you're, you're done. Gills get oh jeez. Oh, Gills grabs yellow armor. Goes in with an MG <laughs> against both players. <laughs> yeah. From paramedic for that mega health. Totally gets shut down. Mesta gets a red armor and one frag up on them right now. Mesta having that red armor is definitely gonna help. This 50 is oh gonna my put it back up there. And the one, the <laughs> one grenade. <laughs> is gonna make that frag happen. So Mesto is gonna be sitting up here, wanting to assert dominance over the quad room. He wants an LG first nades, though. He's got nades, and he knows how to use them. <laughs> nades, not aids. Dude, Gee. it's easy top uh, motherfucker. Just the one nade. Legs. <laughs> Never mind. Get with the classic rock, man. Mesto could have. Oh, he's walking into three rockets. Oh. What the hell? <laughs> oh, he's like. Hmm. Hmm. That was a. That needs spice. Let me try another one. Ah. Hmm. Oh, jeez. Yeah, a little, little too salty. The, the fadeaway oh. rocket, but what then falls the to his death. This I mean, has that, been like. The, the it was such a wasted quad. <laughs> no, and actually, you know. I got quad. I got quad. Well, but, you know, that, that is something that, that I would say I would expect out of, like, a newer player. Because, um. I will say that a lot of players, and, and I certainly do this, um, a lot of... <laughs> 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 All right. What the hell is going on? There we go. Oh, Wait, they did it again. Holy These shit, now Sparks is killed Benny Hilling all over the place. How many suicides have there been? Okay, Wonko's <laughs> got a score of zero with three frags. A Sparks has, oh, has three frags, one point. Wow. There have been like craters and mutual rocket frags all over the place. Yeah, but as I was trying to this say before the the, uh, match. the circus opened, yuck, um, yuck, yuck. a lot of players, they kind of get into like a very sort of typical dodging pattern. So whenever you face somebody, you tend to do the same thing. Like you press the same movements on your keyboard. And I think that was a little bit of what Mesta was doing there. Like, because... <laughs> Straight right into the three rockets. Yeah, but rarely do we that. see it happen so often. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Wonka is winning this hand in like great yeah, time. Yeah. Okay, well, and after all that farce, Paramedics is still one frag behind here. Wonka getting both red and mega, so is he going to be able to do any damage with it as... Okay, this is good. He's setting up here in the quad room. Don't frag your teammate. Please don't. Okay, the Sparks goes down, and he's going to be making the jump here just in time for quad. Is it going to be a challenge? No. Here comes Gills, but Gills goes down just before that quad spawns, and Wonka's going to have plenty of time here to go on the warpath. Gills comes out with that pummel, but it's not going to be good. Wonka... Misses that red spawn. Well, he brought him within rail. Oh, Sparks not able to pull the trigger though. Nice. And, you know, recall that weapons take a long time to spawn on uh, Pro Team Deathmatch. So, oh, amazing that Wonka didn't get that kill. Let's go take a look and see who that was. <laughs> really? How is that even possible? He must have died right after. Nice trap. Well done. He's going to use it twice. Yeah. It's a trap. Well done. Well done, Area 51. So, Area 51 is actually down that after that quad win. run. They're down by one frag. And this is a bit of a mistake for Gills to walk into that. Uh, he just... Yeah. Mm. yeah. I mean, he tied it for a split second, but... You know, giving away a frag while gaining one, that's a net zero, so... Teams are tied. And you, you lose position at that point, too. Wonko throwing out the rails here. Missing the few on Sparks, but he's just gonna go in for the kill. He wants that to happen, but now he's gonna r have to RJF for this red armor. It's a good grab, and now he's gonna intercept Sparks in the face! Nice grab. Oh. Nice peek. That's a double, and he should go in for this the kill. This is a bloody-ass match. Well, wow. no. So, this thing is still really close. We got 30 seconds to the next quad, but what I really don't see is any sort of control on this map. And 
We've actually seen this no, a little no, bit. No. This match has been way too chaotic.